My wife's grandfather, I work with my wife at the distillery, her name is Britt, and I also work with my uh, brother-in-law, Drew, who's the master distiller current day. Um, their grandfather, Thompson Willett, founded our distillery with his brother, Johnny. They broke ground in 1936, uh, spring of 36, uh, on the property we sit today. And March 17th, 1937, uh, St. Patrick's Day, one year later, um, they put their first barrels into storage, 30 barrels into Warehouse A. Um, the Willets go back to, um, as far as the first Willet we can trace back to with 100% certainty that was distilling in this state. It's their great, great grandfather, John David Willet. He was one mile away from where we sit um, current day at our distillery in Barstown. It was the Willet, Frankie, and Moore distillery. When you really understand what bourbon is, you understand how complex it is and how really stiff the regulations are. The two that we take a lot of pride in that no other spirit in the world has to meet is that it's got to be aged in a brand new charred oak container. Every single time that product comes off our still, see it's clear like water, white dog. Um, and when it goes into that barrel, it's clear, like, like I say, like water. Now, of course, that's nothing like what we all uh, think of when we think of bourbon. That's because it gets, you know, and you hear these percentages all the time, 65, 70, 75 percent of the overall character of bourbon whiskey comes from the barrel. Whatever the percentage is, the bottom line is it's very significant and it gets almost all of those great caramel, vanilla notes um, on the nose, on the flavor, that complex finish, the great color in your glass um, from that aging process. And it's gotta be a brand new oak barrel every single time. No other spirit in the world has to meet that criteria. It's a big differentiating factor. The other one <clears throat> kinda touches on some of the things I just talked about all that pretty color in the glass, the pretty aromas, etc. By United States law, that's got to be all natural. So what am I saying here? It's grains, water, and patience. From our small batch collection, Noah's Mill and Rowan's Creek, all these products I'm about to mention, I won't bore you with the accolades, but they've gotten some wonderful world-class accolades to their names. Uh, chief among them, uh, I invite you to visit San Francisco World Spirits. Uh, um, competition's website. I think it's sfworldspiritscomp.com. They have the archives. You can see our family's whiskeys have done really well. We've been blessed. Um, Rowan's Creek and Noah's Mill got some of the highest awards there, as did Johnny Drum Private Stock. We're also doing some very special selections that Heidelberg here in Kentucky uh, picked under the Willett Family Estate bottled bourbon label. Two eights and two tens, non-chill filtered barrel strength, one-offs, um, very special whiskey. And we did a Willett Family Estate Rye that's part of our core portfolio, non-chill filtered, um, single barrel, um, 110 proof. We cut it down just a little bit with the spring water on the property. And then the last product, Willett Pot Still Reserve, is a single barrel product, 94 proof, kind of light to medium bodied, somewhat along the same vein as like a Blanton's bourbon whiskey. Um, really nice. Um, I'd characterize it as a pretty e an easy sipper uh, with those. those it was classic caramel vanilla notes and also some, some kind of floral notes and a little buttery uh, on the finish.